Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. We're going to take a look at a beer I've had for a while. I got this from YouTube user OD for completing the 40 ounce malt liquor challenge. And this is from a brewery in Wisconsin, New Glarus Brewing Company. And this is, as it says on the neck of the bottle, their Cranbic. So, I assume Cranbic Ale means this is their Cranberry Lambic. I haven't really done a lot of research on this beer, I, other than I've heard that this used to be part of their Unplugged series and now is like a more seasonal, somewhat occasional release from them. So knowing that this beer came from OD, this version probably has some age on it. I mean it could be many, many years old and I probably should have drank it fresh because I assume the, the, the fruit character in there is probably faded. But We'll see. I, I, even though I'm wearing a sweatshirt, it's actually a warm day outside and it's just cold in my house. So I want a nice refreshing beer. Polar is out. Very, very clear. It's really just straight up golden color. Not much of a head on there. There's definitely some carbonation coming up. Let's see. What well, heads there's pretty bright white. Let's get the nose on it. Oh yeah, definitely get a lot of fruit character on there big sour cranberry notes. It's like if someone took your cranberry juice and then you know put some uh, some lactic acid in there. Definitely has that lactic character. I mean it has the fruity cranberry so there's some sweetness but like I said it's very acidic. It has a, a vinegar like apple cider vinegar kind of character to it. Not really getting a whole lot else, not really any like funkiness to it, just very fruity and sour. So uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's tastes like cranberry juice that's gone bad, so to speak. I mean, it has that, it's like if you left it out too much cranberry juice out and some wild yeast got in and started producing all this acidic character to it and that's kind of what this beer tastes like. So cram it kind of drinks like if you took some champagne and, and put some some cranberry juice in it because it has that tartness up front um, more of like a fruit tartness the, a soured cranberry character uh, carbonations up front too hits your palate and you, you also get some sweetness in there too, some sweet fruit character. It has that very drying on the end like a champagne. Not a whole lot of that kind of earthy, like it doesn't seem like there's any bread anomalies in this beer. If there is, it's more of the fruitier variety. Because you start to pick up maybe a little bit of like a pear, kind of stone fruit note in the back end, but you don't really get that big funkiness that you get with some beers in the, that have bread in it. It's definitely dominated by the cranberries back end though, along with the, uh, you get, start to get some uh, red apple notes, some pear, some white grape, and that's kind of where it ties into the whole champagne thing. So I mean this is a, this is a nice beer, it's not overly complex, but it's crisp, refreshing raspberry beer, it's not overly sweet, it's not overly tart, there's good balance to it. So it's a pretty solid uh, sour. So I'm gonna go with a B for New Glarus's Cranbic. I, I definitely want to try more of their other sour beers they do, especially the fruited ones, because I've heard they're really good. But um, this one's worth checking out uh, if you can get it. I can't here in San Diego, so thanks for OD for sending it out to me. Finally got to it, and until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.